two minute warning. Here we go. All right, Thomas, serious business before we get started. <laughs> you double fisted? <sighs> you have a holster for those things? If we don't kiss, now it's weird. <laughs> now it's weird. <laughs> You starred in Reno 911. How much working out did you do to fit into those shorts? Zero. There's a big misconception about Reno 911 that I was wearing pantyhose the whole time. I'm not a lunatic. I'm wearing tiny pump smugglers, <laughs> but I'm not wearing pantyhose in that show. True or false, you mm -hmm. used to do the thigh master before the show. We may not have been born with great legs, but now we can look like we were. I have done some lunges. I will lunge around, which is just when you walk like this, basically. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah. Did you hate having to keep the mustache? Because it's a very like outdated look. Here's the thing about the mustache. Not only do I not hate it, but sometimes I look at myself when I have the mustache and I'm like, you complete me. I just think of Ron Burgundy, an anchor man. I'm Ron Burgundy. And mm -hmm. the best man to ever wear a mustache on TV mm -hmm. is Tom Selleck. That's um, correct. I I. Who has nicer legs, you or Jessica Simpson from Dukes of Hazard? She wins for tan, but I win for hair. <laughs> <laughs> On the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, uh, you played the situation in Jersey Shore, I which did. was hilarious. I did. This year, that's what they call the situation. And then I got this weird looking mole that's growing on my six pack, and that's another less sexy situation. Is this mm -hmm. situation still going? That's oh, incredible. You gotta be careful at my age when you try to flex your abs. <laughs> you always fart. <laughs> TMZ, you're on TMZ quite a bit. A Is lot. it true that you always try to kick them in the n**ks when they ask you a question? <laughs> you, you weren't supposed to do that, man. It was like a metaphor, bro. 80% of the time, it ends with a nut kick. I was like, hey, if you keep asking me dumb questions, I'm going to kick you in the nuts. <laughs> oh. You were in 17 again with Zac Efron. How dreamy is he? You can just get lost in his eyes. He also smells better than you think. He was also in Baywatch, a movie you helped write. I did. Can you teach me how to do this? The Baywatch slow motion run. <laughs> and finally, 10 seconds, give your hometown of Oak Park a shout out. Hey, Oak Park. Um, I'm your fifth favorite son. Right after uh, you got your Hemingways, your Betty Whites, your Dan Casamoletta, oh, your Johnny Galecki. Kathy Griffin, is she still on the favorite sons list? That's the number four! Thomas Lennon. Oak Park's number four. <laughs> four, wait. Did I say ludicrous? <laughs> you didn't mention that. Seven.